Hello and thank you for joining us today on the Legacy Brand Coin Ring Tool Channel. My name is Gary and today we're going to take a look at the Coin Ring Wall Straightening System by Legacy Brand Coin Ring Tools. The Legacy Brand Coin Ring Wall Straightening Set consists of six cones, six matching caps that the cones fit in. It also has a stand for your lids to fit on. I like to use mine like this uh, on this particular stand that it comes with on my steel plate on my arbor press. My arbor press has a legacy steel plate that's flat that matches the arbor press and it has a hole in the center. Many of you have the plate that comes stock with these. Make sure that the slot in the front is lined up and you can also use the same exact stand over that to stabilize the lid on your straightening set when you begin to straighten your rings. Today what we're going to do, we're going to take this 1964 silver half dollar. What I've done with it is I've reduced it in the Swedish wrap die. It's a 7 degree Swedish wrap die. And they come out of the die looking like this. 7 degree and it needs to be straightened. This is when the wall straightening set comes into play. To straighten this out into a straight walled ring and no longer a cone shape. One more thing these caps also do. If you don't have a plate like this and you just have a flat surface or a press that just has a flat plate with no hole in it, these caps are designed to also fit on your Swedish wrap dies, your reduction dies. Also, the stand is designed to fit in your Legacy brand die stand. Fits well in there, so whenever you use your wall straightening set, it holds it up a little higher for you. All right, let's get started. This 1964, what I've done to it is deburr the inside of the cut side right here. Use your deburr tool or sand the inside smooth. Make sure it's rounded or smooth on this side. I like to deburr mine <clears throat> as well as use steel wool right here on the inside. Get that nice and smooth. Make sure you anneal before you do this as well. That's one critical step in using the wall straightening system is make sure that it is annealed and deburred prior to doing this. So now it's time to choose your cone. So let's start with the smallest one here. And it looks like it's just going to almost fit on this one right here. So it does not go through there. We're going to press this cone into this ring on the cut side. We're going to use the smallest lid that matches this cone. We're going to place it on the stand like so. And I'm going to put it on the press after I lubricate this cone with coconut oil. Let's just do that. Lubricate your cone with coconut oil. Like so. Place your ring on your stand with a reed down. Place your cone inside. Make sure you're going to clear down below, whether you have the spacer below or you have a, a hole like this inside your plate. Press down. And what you've done is you've expanded the ring on the punch side, the cut side. To remove it, turn it over, just like so. Make sure it's on your stand that supports your lid and press down. Okay, we've started opening this up and straightening the wall. Let's go to the next size cone. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to change to the next size cone. But the next size cone I'm going to use in the same lid. Knowing that it does not go through this, I can only go down this far. And the reason for doing that is I like this reed to sit well on my lid. If the reed is too small for this hole right here, make sure you use the next size smaller lid to support your ring before you press a cone down into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to put this same small lid, leave it there, use the next larger size cone in there, and I'm going to see that I do have space before this cone hits this lid on the inside. Let's lubricate this cone real quick. Put it in our press, give it a quick press down, 
I'm going to check it to see how close my cone is to my lid. I have just a little bit of space. I'm going to go a little bit more. Okay, I'm right there at the lid now. I have very little space. I can still take it in and out. Now is the time where I can change my lid. Go to the next size lid. Place it on your stand. Place the ring on your lid like so. And let's continue to press down a little bit more. Now as you do this, your ring is going to work harden. So you want to make sure that you stop when you start feeling a lot of pressure. One thing to keep in mind always make sure that your ring ends up in this upper position of the cone. Do not let your ring stop in the lower position of your cone or you will not get it off there without having to press it off very difficultly. The reason being is because if this ring is not up in this area, what's going to happen is you're going to get something like this where your ring tries to go down inside your lid when you try to release it. So, make sure it's in this upper position just a little bit and if it is, you can turn it upside down, make sure it sits on that top portion of that lid real well, place it in your press, and press it down. It releases, and our ring is getting straighter. I'm going to take this real quick and anneal it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from anneal with my 1964 Kennedy half dollar, and when you anneal, you heat it up to the proper temperature, quenching in water, which softens the metal. One thing to remember also, whenever you're running the cones down through these, this inside where the reed side is, there'll be a little bit of a lip there when you do the Swedish wrap method. Make sure you take your deburr tool and you trim some of that lip out on the inside right there. If you trim some of that out, it will allow you to get your walls straighter because it doesn't hit the cone on the inside when you're expanding your ring and straightening the walls. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use the same cone I had a while ago because I made it up this far on the cone and it started getting work hardening on me. So what I did was anneal it. I'm going to take this and press it back in here, do the exact same thing, make sure your cone is lubricated. Press it down. A little bit more. Okay. Getting a straighter ring. Much straighter ring. Okay, now let's release it. Flip the cone over. Make sure it sits well on the lid. Press it down. And our ring is right there getting straighter wall. Much straighter wall actually. Now what I can do, I can size this up even more. I started out before I even began, this thing was a size 5, right out of the Swedish wrap die. Right now it's sitting at a size 6.5. And, and what I like to go is about a size, uh, let's go for a size 7. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the next cone in there. Lubricate it. Now I'm going to stay with the same lid because I want the reed to sit well on this lid. If I go to the next size, my ring doesn't fit real well on this next lid yet because it has not been expanded enough yet. So I'm going to stay with the same lid that the reed does fit well on. This cone is now lubricated. Place it in my press. Begin to press down, make sure it's centered. Press down. Now let's take a look at it. Getting nice and straight. And I'm going to, it won't release off of this lid, so let's go ahead and put it in the lid that the cone actually matches to release with. Place it on the stand, put it in your press, and press down. All right, let's look here. We are at a size seven right now. And we have a straight walled ring. With this particular one, what I would probably do would be to stretch it up just a little bit more, which you can with these cones. Stretch it just a little more, and then use a 25 degree die on this particular one to curve it just a slight bit. 
and make it a comfort fit ring. A little something to remember. This is a 17 degree fold on a presidential dollar. And some of you may think, wait a minute, I can straighten that out on this wall straightening system. Sure you can. Make sure before you do that, that you open up the cut side with your ring stretcher like you would any other ring. Place it cut side down, open it up, stretch it out a little bit prior to doing the straightening system. Turn it over, use your expansion cone, place it down in there and stretch it. Always a kneel before doing this after you do a ring stretch. Five simple things to remember with this set to be successful. Number one, always anneal your coin rings. Number two, always lubricate your cones. Number three, always deburr. And number four, size up the reed of your rings prior to putting them in there. And number five, have a good time doing it. Thank you for watching the video today. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up if you would. And if you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to do so. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Happy ringing.